Hello there YouTubers, uh, in my last video I unboxed uh, this one and I was hoping I'm gonna show you a new video with this machine working but as I told you in the earlier video the seller couldn't guarantee that this one worked perfectly and he was right, it didn't work perfect and there's something wrong with the graphic chip in this machine so either I get no picture at all or I get a disturbed picture uh, for a few brief seconds I actually had a working picture and whatever I do trying to tune the the, the TV television set or trying to tune using that screw there enough I won't get a good picture whatever I do it might be the cable it might be the RF modulator so I will probably try with uh, another type of connector uh, back here I told you in my last video that these two were serial ports I was wrong about that the one is a serial port for the disk drive the other one is actually audio video out so I know there's another way of connecting this machine to the television set and I will try that and see if I have better luck that and hopefully just uh, RF modulator here, this port is uh, bad because there's no nothing wrong with the, with the cable. Uh, if not, this is gonna be my spare machine. I won't throw it away. It won't. It will be a spare machine to put uh, take uh, reserve parts from. And I'm already on my hunt for a new one. So instead, uh, I'm gonna show you this machine. This is the C64C. And that's the updated model of the Commodore 64 that was that Commodore released in 1986. And as you can see here, I actually have put in uh, a cartridge here. And this is the MMC replay cartridge that I've shown you in my other videos. Uh, back here, there is actually a freeze button. Really good if you trying to disassemble some old games, trying to find out the secrets, and a reset button. And here's where the SD card goes with all the programs. Um, what can you say about the C64C? Well, comparing that design with this design, decide for yourself. I like the old design much, much more than the newer design. Uh, the new design of the machine uh, resembles a lot uh, like the uh, expected follow-up <coughs> machine. There was a machine coming after of course the C C64. There was a number of machines coming after C64 but uh, for example the Commodore Plus 4 that was fought for as a uh, replacement for this one. It didn't succeed so this one still hanged on and then they released the Commodore 128 and uh, the Commodore 128 I own one of those Commodore 128 the case uh, of the Commodore 128 and the case of this machine is really like so besides uh, the upgraded design of the case there's nothing new actually the same type of connectors on the back side and on the side nothing new there uh, what I understand uh, they did some things with the motherboard smaller motherboard possibly a few components I'm not sure about that um, some of the ships in the machine was upgraded to new versions um, since of course they find that some of the ships uh, maybe didn't work as well as they thought uh, on the original machine uh, this uh, particular sample is manufactured in 1986. It's hard to see that on the video, but uh, it's a little bit yellow in the plastic, and that's a problem most of this machine ha has. Um, heat, cold, uh, air, and the quality of the plastic it makes it yellow, especially the keys are yellow. And it's not because someone has moved around the machine, it's just a generic problem with these old boxes. And besides that, this is the machine I'm using all the time. Um, as I said, I have a Commodore 128 also, but since I know Neil always work in, in C64 mode, this is my, my, my preferred machine. So... Um, I think I'm going to show you this one connected to the television set and with the peripherals that I have that is a drive and disk drive and show you some small things with this machine. So uh, let's hook it up and see what's happening. Hopefully it will work again.